Hey, it's Gabe and Sarah. Hi. With the Florida chapter of the Order of the Traveling Hats. We're down here at the Everglades National Park today. We're gonna stay the night here and then tomorrow we're gonna continue on to the Biscayne Bay National Park and go on down into the Keys and, and just check this general area out. So right now we're just kind of exploring the park and seeing what we can see. Got a little bit of time to waste before we can get to our campground and get camp set up. So uh, uh, Dixie's with us today too, so she gets to enjoy the park. Uh, come along with us and welcome. I hope you enjoy. Right now we're just on the main road through the park. We're headed down to Flamingo Bay to check out what it looks like when we get to the ocean. Uh, right now it's just been, you know, what you would expect. Uh, scrubby pine swamp and wide open space. Birds everywhere. We're hoping to get down here and see some, some gators, maybe some crocodiles. Manatees. Manatees, uh, you know, all those kind of things like that. Birds have been everywhere. But so far, it's pretty cool. Uh, the park is massive, and we haven't seen a lot of people yet, so we'll see what it looks like. What kind of bird is it? It's a white ibis. Like that so. Well, we've reached Flamingo Bay. Pretty cool. It's a little windy down here, so probably not the best audio in the world. Sarah and Dixie checking, checking out the beach. Got some fishermen over here. We've got camp all set up, testing out this new table and stove that we've got. Got a little fire going. <clears throat> Sarah's over here weeding and desperately trying to stay away from the mosquitoes with her citronella candle. I don't think it's working though. Ooh. 
little tent set up just fine. Didn't have any issues with that. And Dixie's over here checking out the rest of the campsite. Dixie, did you find anything? What you got? What you doing? Come back this way. Hey, come on. We're just settling in for the evening. We'll probably cook dinner here in a little bit and uh, call it a night. Right. It's at this point that the story takes a little bit of a turn. We'd gotten camp all set up. Night was coming. We were getting ready to cook dinner. Uh, Sarah was already struggling with the mosquitoes pretty bad. As you saw her sitting there with the centronella candle right under her. So w what had happened was as I was packing up to go on this little trip, I grabbed the bug spray what i thought was the mosquito spray but actually turned out to be tick spray doesn't really affect the mosquitoes so if you've never been to the everglades national park and you're not aware they have uh, mosquito intensity guides in the visitor center so that you can keep up with how me how bad the mosquitoes are that day they estimate that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of nine a billion mosquitoes within the park boundaries that's a billion with a b and here we are two knuckleheads sitting out there with no mosquito spray so once it got dark things got real really fast the mosquitoes were literally a cloud uh, so we made the decision really quick to just pack up and go the plan had been camp that night at the Everglades and then get up the next day and go down, check out the Florida Keys, maybe Biscayne National Park on the way back out. But I mean, it was, uh, it was so bad. It was our, our fault, obviously, but it was so bad. We had to just go. So we packed up camp and I want to say like 25 minutes. We tore down a tent, roll it up, packed it, everything back in the boxes in the truck and we were gone in like 25 minutes. It was so bad. Uh, we just scrapped it and drove all the way home. Uh, nobody was interested in doing anything the next day. Sarah had mosquito bites the size of a softball on her arm. It was, it was pretty bad. I regret that we kind of did that. It, it didn't really ruin the trip, but it certainly didn't help things. We'll maybe give it another shot but we probably won't camp there uh, it was pretty bad the the park itself was worth the visit um, but be ready if you're going to camp and have every kind of mosquito deterrent that they make and then get some backups it was a mosquito apocalypse and we couldn't get out of there fast enough i love the smell of mosquito spray in the morning Smells like victory. You know, one day this camping trip's gonna end.